straight chin. <coughs> I'm back and uh, I, I have some news. I'm back to Toronto and uh, I got a lot of uh, sort of experience to share. So um, I think let's get straight into it. All right. And the first thing was um, when I, uh, after the last video, I had a couple of dinners. I went out with my director and all the sort of team at the BMS lab to have some dinner and uh, we went there. I'll uh, actually uh, put up some gifts they gifted me. So I'll add it there in the video. So yeah, after that, um, I went home. I went out with my friend and we had some talks and we chilled for a bit and everything. Then I came back at around 12 or something. The next day I needed to like pack everything because I didn't do anything. And my flight was the next day, right? I only had one day to pack everything, like everything from scratch. And uh, all right, the room is done. It feels like I've never been there or something like I've emptied everything. Yeah. Hey, that's a fun little journey. Good. Now on to Amsterdam before Toronto. Um, yeah, and I packed my stuff, cleaned up my room, said goodbye to the team. That was kind of like emotional, but not really because I hadn't mixed emotions. Like, I don't know what to feel. Like, I, I, at some instant I was like, feeling numb but at this moment since i was like it's fun exciting but i don't know overall it was uh it went well and uh everyone we chilled and uh yeah sort of said goodbye to everyone and then came the fun part so me and my uh friend my housemate we planned a trip to amsterdam sort of like uh, a goodbye to me so like we went to Amsterdam then our one of our other friends joined friend joined as well and uh, I'll actually put everything in here so that like sort of show what exactly we sh we see in, um, in the Amsterdam like what we experienced and all that I, I'll <laughs> roll up some clips and So after that, we met another colleague, sort of a friend, um, like she was also there. Um, she's Italian and she was also at the, um, in the Amsterdam. And uh, we, we had dinner together and uh, I said goodbye to her again. <laughs> and um, yeah, so said goodbye to her again and then we, like we stayed at two places one was this hotel in city center i don't remember the name of it it was it was actually really shit like the doors were like not doors uh the stairs were like this big like that's it 
they, I had to carry my luggage through that. I was like, fuck. And uh, we were on the third floor or something. We made it our work. And then the fun part, the next day when I met my Italian uh, friend, she, um, we, we, we all were, uh, me and my housemate, we were staying in a hostel and uh, that i would say this if you are ever on a budget fuck if you're not even on the budget like we weren't on, on a budget or anything you should experience our style like it was like uh it's called i think something big i don't know in amsterdam it's a really famous hostel trust me it's a whole different experience you meet a lot of people, you bring new connections and everything, it's fun, like, the lobby was fun, we were playing pool and everything. Sick. And, um, it's just an experience, I feel like, I like that, it was different. And then the funny part was, so I didn't want to meet this Italian friend because of some th some reasons. And uh, I told her that it's good if we don't meet and everything. And one of my other friend that was coming in, he, he was uh, getting a haircut in Amsterdam. He saw them and then he was like, oh, uh, come out to our hostel and everything. And then he brought them and uh, yeah, we went to dinner to this, like, I don't remember, this Italian restaurant, had some pizza. Every Italian hate that, um, uh, what, did they, uh, the, 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 what do you call it? A oh, pineapple of a pi uh, pizza, right? I got approval from an Italian. It's not bad. The thing is, like, the reason the hate is because they have never fucking tried it. And I mean, if you don't try it, how the fuck you can hate on it, right? So, yeah, so basically she tried it and she was like, I have to give it, it's not bad. And yeah, so after that, uh, we went back to our places, to our hostel, and then the next day, everyone said goodbye to me because I, my flight was like, I had to leave at like 7 a.m. But nobody was going to wake up at 7 because we spent like a whole night outside. So I said goodbye and the next day, my flight day. And after all these moments and beautiful memories and everything, the final day in the Netherlands, the flight day. So <sighs> what was going in my head? Am I gonna come back again? I was like, that was my only answer. Like, would I be able to experience this again? And at that instant, I was like, I know what I want. I wanna fucking explore this world. I want to go all out, I want to explore everything. Like, I don't want to just sit in, a tr sit in Toronto and work and do nothing. No, because there's much more to do in this world. And I'm, if you're fortunate enough, if you have good fucking health, go and do it. That's my only advice. If you have two legs, two arms, and everything is working, you're blessed by it. Go and fucking do it. You won't regret it. Trust me, you won't regret it. My past eight months, like I haven't shared everything because I can't in one video, but my past eight months was crazy. Like the stuff I've learned, the stuff I've experienced, it's once in a lifetime. And fuck, I'm just 20, oh, 21. do it like you should that's my only advice fuck if you're on a budget do it on a budget i don't like it's way better to do it until you get a bigger perspective of the world itself but yeah 
um, without getting into the motivational bullshit, which is good at the same time, but let's cut it down. Um, so yeah, after that, our flight, did everything boring and then had, mm, I think, McChicken or something. I had that and then my flight came to Toronto and yeah, we are here, which I have another story. It wasn't easy. Trust me, it wasn't easy. Um, I stayed at the hotel, uh, not the hotel, but the airport. And then came at round six, I think six, yeah, round six to my rental. Um, sort of share my experience of what happened in the past two days when I'm while I was here in the next video. So um, have fun, peace, and uh, see you in the next one. Tell him how you feel. How's the hotel? Hotel <laughs> is cool. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's the best cool. in my life. Yeah, yeah. the best. Right. Yeah.